All my content is found on the public domain. I operate using the Fair Use Act guidelines and Fair Dealings guidelines. I use my own opinions, thoughts, speculation and commentary, which may or may not be true or even correct. This is for entertainment purposes, comedy and fun. Please like, comment with respect and subscribe. Hello, this is Talk and Tech Mum. Happy Saturday. Let's review the busy week the Sussexes have had. I'll have to do this in several segments. So first of all, their arrival into Cape Town on British Airways. Well done. They took the baby and a commercial jet. Good start. Good start. Good PR. So then they went straight out to a community uh, and did some dancing in the gravel in the street. Saw how the other half lived. And I think that was good for Megan to see how what's happened in her family history. It was interesting that she did a speech again about inspiring and blah, 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 me, 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 and I, I, I. However, I do think that the full meaning of what she wanted to convey was probably lost because I didn't get what she was talking about. It was a whole lot of word salad and a whole lot of, uh, we want to be your, I want to be your sister and your friend and all this sort of thing, but really... She she lives a life so far from what these people have been through that she can't relate. And I feel the only way she could show she related was with dancing. And, you know, to be frank, she really enjoyed herself and she had fun and they welcomed her and Harry and it was really nice. She wore a cheap dress, a $120 dress, cheap shoes. Uh, she looked really natural and happy. So, you know what, I, I thought that went exceptionally well for her. So that was the justice desk. Then they went on to the beach to uh, Ways for Change. That went well, a bit windy, uh, a little bit difficult to uh, do that kind of uh, meeting. However, again, I feel it went well. It's a bit like the beach scene in Australia where they went. Uh, so that, that was good, you know, uh, went well. Uh, I'm happy for them that that started so well. I think uh, <laughs> a few things didn't go so well after at the Mothers to Mothers meeting of... Um, that group. I could see that she wore that pant suit was really because she knew she planned she was going to get those mothers to sit on the floor. It's not cultural to sit on the floor at that kind of a social event so I can understand the ladies uh, disdain at her for commanding them to sit on the floor because it was um, really an offence to them to do that. I think the other tragedy was that she, uh, Meghan Markle, did not take Archie, that Archie was too good and too precious to take to a mother's playgroup in Africa. So I find that quite insulting, and if it was me and I was the mother and Meghan came without her baby, then I'm like, why can't my baby go near your baby? What's so good about your baby that my baby can't be near your baby? So, and then sort of feigning interaction with the little children uh, was displayed on some of the mother's faces, uh, that kind of look of just being used by Megan for the photographers. So I actually felt that that didn't go very well. Even though Megan spoke nicely and she came across well, she uh, executed it quite badly and was quite insensitive to the mothers and uh, made herself seem more better than them and her child better than them and uh, and then the icing on the cake of her being better than them was giving them Archie's old clothes. Now that is a really nice thing to do if you're going to top it up with some new stuff. So you go right you know what Archie's stuff that we didn't really want not going to make a big deal but you know what I did do I bought you ma you or you mums some of my um, sets that she's been selling in the UK and also for the children, um, one of the, you know, she could just say, you know, one of the um, stores I'm associated with has, has sent a whole pile of stuff down um, for you and your children and, uh, and your friends' children. And she could have shown, displayed a lot more uh, generosity than just by bringing hand-me-downs, which I'm sure hand-me-downs are nice. I don't, I don't object to them, but I do think that she made them feel second-rate as a result at uh, doing that publicly. Uh, you would do that in private and certainly not discuss it. <clears throat> so that was how that was viewed um, on that occasion. Uh, she seemed quite lovely greeting children and it was probably the first time I've ever seen her try to relate to, to other children. She, her displays uh, are friendly and 
as well as Harry. Like Harry is quite natural around young children and they really love him. So it was really nice to see Harry naturally smiling and little children responding to him. That's just the Harry that we know and that uh, we would normally expect uh, to see. So that was extremely pleasing with Harry. And uh, moving on to the next part of the trip, I'll pause here. So I guess in addition uh, to uh, the couple uh, roaming through um, Cape Town to their events, I really hope they got to see uh, the other side of Cape Town, which is uh, still the existence of uh, evidence of apartheid and um, how black people are still living in the tin shanties and the sheds. They're quite visible as you drive through uh, different areas in, in South Africa, certainly in Cape Town. And the way and the conditions that those people live in is very substandard and um, not acceptable um, considering how others uh, live in, in Africa, especially Cape Town in the city. So, yeah, I really hope Megan got to see that and understand the, the struggle that, that these people have and it's not all happiness and smiles and, um, or fakery. These people are really trying hard to raise their kids in very difficult conditions. So on to the... So on to the uh, PDA moments. Now, this is something I want to just quickly touch on, that is their relationship. I feel that um, Harry led her a little bit more in Africa. Uh, I do feel because he's more familiar, and I do feel she was probably a little bit uncertain about how people would treat her, so she was probably a little frightened, maybe, or intimidated. I don't know. But she did take the, the back seat, the wingman seat, which was good on her part. Also, um, Harry fixing her hair. Now, I'm not surprised. Her hair drives me crazy as well. If I was him, I'd be trying to just cut, cut the damn stuff off. She can never get it tidy, even though she did bring a stylist with her. So, go figure. However, um, there was a nice kiss that they had together. I do think that uh, this is a trip, an opportunity for them to display a positive image, a positive relationship and um, lots of feel-good moments for the people uh, who have come out to see them in, in Cape Town. So let's see what, uh, what happens further along. I've got lots to say and I want to talk more about Archie. So uh, stay tuned and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.